The electric motorcycle is almost as old as the electric car. In fact, the first electric motorcycle was patented in 1897. Here's the original patent. By the beginning of the 20th century, a lot of magazines were doing stories about the popularity of electric motorcycles, like this one in Popular Mechanics in 1911. And here's my favorite thing about this article. Look, it is claimed will run from 75 to 100 miles on a single battery charge. Hmm. But then nothing happened for about 100 years. In the last decade or so, there had been renewed interest in electric motorcycles from a lot of manufacturers, including one of the biggest. Take a look. Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. As you know, we like motorcycles here. And Harley Davidson, considered by many to be a very conservative motorcycle company, has come out with a very innovative product. I think it's really exciting. Now, I know if you're a Harley traditionalist, don't start boo-hooing right away. Just hear me out. This is very, very cool. This is something called Project Livewire, and it's an all-electric Harley, which is something I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. But it shows that the company is progressing and coming up with new ideas. And it's a really good-looking bike, but is it any good? We'll find out. I want you to meet Ken Osterman. Ken, come on in. You're what, head of global, what is it? Global Marketing Operations. Global Marketing <laughs> Operations. Okay. You know, I was stunned because we all think of Harley as sort of V-twins and, you know, water-cooled head. Well, okay, maybe. All right, I'll accept the water-cooled heads. But this is a totally innovative new product. It's uh, been getting a lot of buzz, and it's, and it's a good-looking motorcycle. Tell us what we have here. Well, thank you, Jay, and excited to be here. So what you're looking at is what we call Project Livewire. And it is intended to be an opportunity for customers to get on an all-electric, authentic Harley-Davidson electric motorcycle and give us some feedback and tell us what they think. Now, I'm, I'm curious to see what the feedback is because Harley-Davidson, like Porsche, Porsche builds the 911. They built it forever. And any time they deviate from the 911, even if it's a superior product, ugh, people just want the 911. We always think of the traditional Harley guys. They want the loud pipes. They want the V-twin. Um, what, tell, tell me the feedback you've been getting. Is it so, interesting? So, you know, if you take a step back and think about our country, so America at its best has been about America going through reinvention and multicultural diversity. And like America, Harley has gone through many reinventions in our 111-year history. And what we're looking at here is really just our next chapter in right. reinvention. And so the feedback we've been getting from customers has been absolutely fantastic. And so we ha I was in New York a few weeks ago where we revealed this, and then again in Milwaukee at our museum. And so to talk to customers, young, old, male, female, um, traditional riders, riders off of other brands, you know, the big consistent is a huge grin because right. it is just an incredibly exhilarating ride. Yeah, and this is not to give you the impression that, oh, they're going to stop building traditional Harley Davidson to make this. They'll always make the either oil cooled or air cooled V twin, whereas this is just a new product. Absolutely. And so, you know, we have some fantastic existing products with our, you know, air cooled V twin products, you know, mm -hmm. and things like. Project Rushmore that just came out, and even the new Street 500 and 750 right, right. designed to appeal to younger, more urban customers. And, and this represents an opportunity to reach out to even more customers. Now tell us about this, because there have been other electric motorcycles, but never has a motorcycle company as big as Harley-Davidson come out with one. Most have been little startups, and some of them are pretty good. You know, they're, they're actually okay. Uh, a lot of people feel electricity is the best way to propel a vehicle. They certainly uh, felt that in the beginning of the last century, but then the gas engine kind of overtook sure. it a little bit. But uh, I like electric vehicles. The biggest problem, of course, being range. Now, the range with this one is what? So this is optimized as a really a demonstration vehicle. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what, what we're doing with the feedback, and one of the questions is asking customers, what sort of range would you like to get? And so we're getting that feedback from our customers. This particular vehicle, as it's set up, has a range of about 53 miles. Right, okay. And so, you know, for the demo experience, that's perfect, because they're yeah. going out on, on a quick ride and giving us their feedback. Um, and, you know, the technology is evolving, and we're continuing to watch where electric vehicle technology is going with battery yeah. chemistry and, and heat management and everything to see how Well, it that's goes. the thing. I mean, when you're on a Harley, at least for me, I'm on it, if not all day, most of the day, and the trouble with electric is you got to drive somewhere and then stay there. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the problem. But like you say, they are working on that. So let's go over the vehicle itself. You know, it's interesting because it looks 
like it would have almost an inline four cylinder. This almost looks like the bottom end of a BMW K bike. It's, it's nothing is sticking out and nothing is uh, unattractive. It's a really good looking motorcycle. Um, is this the whole battery pack here? Yeah, so we have just an awesome team of designers and engineers back at our Willie G. Davidson Product Development Center in, in the Milwaukee area. And when they look at designing a motorcycle, you know, they think with a Harley, what is the jewel? Of course, it's the motor. Right. And just like a Harley Davidson V twin, you know, an electric Harley Davidson is no different. And so they chose to really focus in and highlight that longitudinally mounted motor, right. you know, right there at the bottom. So your engine is a cylindrical unit. Correct. This is it right in here. You know, so yeah, right, right. down there. Okay. And then that goes into... Oh, it's not, it's not this way. Oh, oh no, no, it's okay. It's right down there. And so it's, it's that silver highlighted unit at the bottom is, is the electric motor. Okay, and they're using the traditional Harley... Uh, uh, so it is, a, it is a belt drive, gotcha. and it's a single speed gearbox that it goes through and gives you just fantastic throttle response. So it's zero to 60 in just under four seconds. Okay, not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah. All right. So as the, our designers were looking at it, you know, they really focus first on the silhouette. Right. And think about how does that motor, how do the wheels fit, and how does all of that flow together? And they came up with an aggressive stance, and you see the, the great frame design. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's unique about this, this is a cast aluminum frame that weighs only about 14 pounds. So what's the whole bike weigh? So a whole bike in total is about 463 pounds. Well, that's not bad. That's, so, that's pretty good, actually, considering you have... What do you got here, about 300 volts? Yeah, it's about 300 volts. Okay. We have, of course, a mono shock, a lot of traditional motorcycle. Yeah, uh, fully adjustable, um, inverted front forks here show a um, adjustable rear mono that, shock as well. That's the sort of classic Harley early sportster kind of design light. It looks so, like almost like a CH from 1950. Exactly. Yeah. So you have this blend of both classic, yeah. and there are a lot of Harley Davidson racing cues in the vehicle. Right. Um, but this light's a great example of that blend of old and new. And so you have both a combination of reflector and mm -hmm. projector LED technology. It's and in fun. fact, the bike is full LED lighting all around. The part that doesn't quite work for me is this. It almost seems like this should be more integrated in the shape of the light or something, rather than just this, it almost looks like an iPhone is kind of put there. You know, if they, I would style that in a little bit more. But that's the only thing that that doesn't knock me out about it. It's really a good looking bike and it's a nice size bike. It's about the size of an 883, isn't it? Sports yeah, I'd sir? say somewhere about that size, wheelbase yeah. wise. You know, I can tell you, you know, it's it's a fun bike. It feels really good and comfortable right, right. for both small folks. I'm on the smaller side, obviously, as well as big guys right. and, uh, and or girls. Now, do you have regen as well on the braking? Yeah, so the bike has both traditional front and rear caliper brakes as okay. well as regen. Okay. And so when you're off the throttle and slowing down through the rear wheel, it will regenerate okay. and so put more power in. It's put not more adjustable battery. regen, it's just set. Correct. Okay. With the exception of maybe changing your fluid and your master cylinder, there's no service to do here, is it? Electric is pretty much... you got tires and, you know... You and, and tires that's, and, and that's about that's it. That's about okay. it. You know, it's one of the, I think, things that's really exciting about this is that even for a relatively new rider, you don't have a clutch to worry about. Right. You don't have to shift. You know, you can really get on and go. And it's it's it allows you to feel more connected to the road. I know that's right. the feeling that I have when I ride this. It's It's... You know, got a strong stance, right. but it's really nimble and great for cruising around urban areas or, or out on the open road a little bit. Right. You know, and our engineers spent particular time focusing on and made deliberate decisions around the sound. Right. You know, to make sure that so it unlike does make a noise. it does make a sound, okay. and you know, unlike other electric vehicles that are largely silent, we wanted to engineer in a distinctive sound. Right. And, and the best way I can think of to describe it is think of jet engine on an aircraft carrier. Okay. And it's got a great, powerful sound as, as you're And what is generating down. the sound? Is it an artificially generated sound? Is it a gear noise? What is it? So it's based on a gear noise. Okay. So when we made a design decision to have a longitudinally mounted motor at the bottom there, and that goes up through a bevel gear that then helps create that sound. I mean, it carries its weight down low. It's, 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 it's comfortable. Nicely done. OK. So what, if I was going to start this, what do I do? So, a couple things. So, first, over here on the right, you have an off and run. To go ahead and start it, we go from the off position to the run position. And I carry, what, a fob in my pocket? Yeah, okay. there'll be a fob in a, right. in a production version if okay. and when we decide to bring it to market. We'll go ahead and why don't you put the side stand up. All right. 
and you can see the system status. So we've got you know 99% battery charge, we've got 300 volts, we see our battery temp and the ECU temp, right. and time to full charge, zero, so we're, we're fully charged, ready to go. And we can select a mode. We either have a range mode or a power ride. And so in our range, we have about 59 miles. Right. And in the power mode, we have 29. Now let me ask you a question. I'm riding along range, and uh, I see a guy in a Kawasaki or something, and I want to get on it a little bit. Do I have to hit power ride and switch over, or would it automatically go into it? So I'll be honest. I've been riding this quite a bit. In fact, we came out on, on Route 66, and we've been right. cruising around LA. Even in range mode, you can get on it and it just goes. Okay. And so there isn't a huge difference between them. So you them. just get a little more power. You do get a little bit okay. more power right. there. Okay. And so, but would know, I have to do that, hit that, and it would switch over? Yes. And so okay. actually, to switch over, you do need to be stopped. Oh, you do? Okay. You do need to be okay. stopped to switch, switch power okay. modes. So just keep it in range mode. Yeah. All right. So if we were to go into range mode, we'll go ahead and touch that. Okay. And we'll see the bike go ahead and uh, get fired up. We see a 111 here. We see our range and at 99%. So, you know, I think it represents Harley Davidson's 111 years of history. Oh, this okay. is our 111th year. Okay. And I'm not sure if that's what the engineers actually yeah. meant it to represent. I, I think it works. Um, we have power at 0%. Right. And we can actually touch this. So it's touch screen. We could also see throttle. Right. Or amps. Okay. So we'll put that back to power. Okay. In range at 99%, we could touch that. We could see you know, our recharge and then our range. And then finally down here, we can look at uh, various temperatures. Okay. And finally, of course, you, know, you can reset right. you know, trip computer, odometer, things of that nature. So am I hot now? Am I ready to go? What we're going to do is press, this, press and hold the start button. Which is Right one. there, oh, just right like here. press and hold. Okay, and then let go. Okay. You've gone to zero miles per hour. And if you twist, you're going to go. I see. Okay, I can feel it. Okay, there you go. And that's the noise you mentioned. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's take this thing for a ride, see how it goes. Well, you know, it's safe to say it's not for the traditional Harley rider, but for someone who wants something that looks cool and wants to commute, 20, 30 miles each way each day. It's pretty cool. You know, when the wristwatch first came out at the turn of the last century, men wouldn't wear them because they thought they were bracelets, like for women, and they couldn't give them away. And then they started giving them to people like Jack Dempsey and, and other famous athletes and manly men to wear. And once those guys started wearing wristwatches, suddenly wristwatches became popular among men. And that's probably what's going to happen here. When you see an electric bike win the Isle of Man, the TT, that's when everything is going to change. As much as I enjoy the sort of thumping sound of a big V-twin, there's nothing wrong with dead silence either. Top speed is about 92 miles an hour, which is OK, I guess. Um, I would imagine that speed, you're sucking down electricity pretty hard. The problem, of course, is range, you know. When you have a vehicle like this, it's fun. You want to drive it all day. And with a range of only 59 miles, you're not going to get too far. You know, it's a bit like flying a hang glider. You don't hear any noise, and you just sort of feel like you're one with the wind on this thing. The absence of noise is really quite pleasant. I think a bike like this will open up a whole new market for Harley Davidson. Because as traditionalists, we like the traditional Harley, but I like to see that they're thinking ahead, that they can be futurists to a certain extent. Its speed is really quite pleasant, handles nicely, very very light bike, doesn't feel close to 500 pounds. I would say it's on par with a 500cc gasoline engine. That's about the same, I think. I think that's a fair comparison. The regen works quite well. I think your, brakes pad, your brake pads would last forever. Boy, the brakes in conjunction with the regen are really terrific. I know it's only got one disc on the front, but that's all it needs. 
Throttle is wonderfully progressive. You just roll it on and roll it off. At no point does it lurch or, or jerk in any way. You know, I've got a couple of Harleys with the foot clutch and the hand shift, and there's so much stuff you have to do. This is the complete opposite to that. All the bikers I've come across so far seem to like it. I haven't, read, I haven't got any negative feedback. I'm sure that those guys, hey, I know Harley guys are still mad they went to overhead valves. So, you know, I was gonna have a few of those guys. You know, most guys don't like electric bikes because they're not faster. But in a couple of years, you're gonna see some amazing things. And when electric motorcycles become faster and more convenient, that's when the big revolution is gonna change. Now see, normally when I come up and down this street a couple of times, the villagers come out with pitchforks and they have torches and they're like, I got that guy. And then I have to take off because the thing is too loud or noisy or whatever. I can do it all day here and nobody even notices. It makes it kind of fun. As I mentioned, the brakes are pretty incredible. You've just got one disc in the front, but it's more than enough. Combined with the regen, you stop right now. It handles nice, it drives nice. I'm curious to see how much uh, electricity it sucks down when you're cruising on the freeway at 65 or 70. Let's take it up and, and see what it does. I'm down to 46 miles now. Let's go a few miles on the freeway and, and see what kind of electricity it uses at speed. Hi, it's Jay Leno. How you doing? Hey. Electric Harley. I, LAPD got some of those recently I was reading about. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah we're just out road testing it. Is, it. is it quiet? Can you hear it? Can't hear thing. That thing is so noisy, I can't hear my motorcycle. <laughs> Have a good day. Anytime you can sneak up on the highway patrol and they don't hear you, that's a good thing. I know if you've gotten a chance to watch the electric bike races at the Isle of Man, it's really exciting. I mean, they're doing some amazing things. They're not where the, where the uh, petrol-powered bikes are yet, of course, but uh, it's still pretty impressive. You know, you get real used to the lack of involvement. All you do is twist the throttle and you go. Um, I'll be interested to see how that works for Harley riders, because Harley Davidson's are among the most personalized vehicles in the world. Everybody that's got one makes theirs just a little bit different. Paint, wheels, something, you know? So I suppose you could customize this. You know, if you're a Harley guy or not a Harley guy, it would uh, behoove you to stop by your local dealer and take one of these on a test drive. It's pretty impressive. Well, look, this is one of those old fashioned gas powered Harleys. First of all, I want to commend Harley Davidson for not sticking their head in the sand and making the same thing year in, year out. You know, that's what killed Indian. That's what killed the British motorcycle manufacturer. They didn't change. They just kept making the same thing. And Harley will continue to make that. But this, I think, is at least part of the future. Some things I think the bike could use. Um, I would like to see an onboard charging system. I think, peace of mind, it'd be fun to ride it to your friend's house, pull a coiled up wire out of the frame and plug it in and charge it while you're watching the game at his place so you can get back home again. I would love to see a regen on the throttle go the other, you know, you pull it this way, it goes forward. If you roll the throttle back, I'd like to get more and more regen so I don't literally have to use the brakes at all. I think that would be an interesting feature. I mean, it rides nice, it handles nice. Um, it's, it's very impressive. And for a bike that's not a production motorcycle, boy, it, it, the quality and the production, it really feels production ready. It's just so different from that that it makes it a unique riding experience. Just to hear nothing but the wind. I know Harley guys with the pipes and the noise, but 
Well, you saw me sneak up on the highway patrolman. He didn't even see me coming, so that's fantastic. Anytime you can fly past those guys that I don't notice, oh, you're gold. So, Ken, thank you very much. Ken, come on in. You've done a wonderful job. Well, thank you. We've got it's really team. good. Tell Willie G and the boys, it's fun to uh, kind of look to the future, you know, and, and, and this is what part of the future will be. Because let's face it, if we want to keep riding those and have gas for those, a lot of people are going to need to ride these. And if you get a, a, half the market riding these, you extend the range of gasoline twice as far. So uh, I was impressed. I, I, it's, it's really good. It's got Harley styling. You know, if you put a black light on this thing, you're going to see Harley DNA all over it. I know that sounds a little gross, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, Willie G and the boys, good job. Thanks. Ken, thank you very much. Thanks for the time, Jeff. See you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>